Hey friends, it's Megan here. So today we are doing something super fun and we are going to tour Blue Ridge Yurts in Virginia. We are actually really looking forward to being able to tour Blue Ridge Yurts. This will give us a great idea of the options they have available and what we may be able to choose in our future yurts. So stay tuned and join us on this wonderful tour that we're taking you on today. Welcome to Blue Ridge Yurts Display Yurt. This is actually at their facility in Virginia, and this is sitting right outside of their offices, so you can actually walk into the office and talk to somebody. They welcome you to walk around, look all around this yurt. Now they just have it set up as basically just a simple like one bedroom. There's no kitchen or really anything going on. This is only a 20 foot yurt, so it's not very big. But it does give us the ability to see the different options, like these two different window options. The fabric window here, and then I'll pan over and you can see the wooden window option, where it's actually a glass window set within a wooden frame, and that's the option we'll go with. We really like that option much better. You can see their paneling, it's actually got the uh, insulated bubble wrap in between this so you don't have to see it on the inside it's just a clean white and then this is it on the outside and so we can see the different options available here on the outside too here are the two fabric windows that are available um, they just roll open and closed Here's the other side of the wooden window. You can tell from the wood on that and the fabric of the yurt that this has been set up for a long time. And it is still looks to be in pretty good shape. Now up under the yurt, they just have theirs built on this like wooden pier and beam platform. So we're kind of just getting ideas of what we would um, do on the bottom if we would do insulation down there or how we would get it planned out being able to see it in person really helps your mind to be able to know what you should do and give you many ideas okay guys if you want to see some better shots of it some like still shots and stuff make sure you're following us on instagram i will be posting a bunch of shots i took when this video goes up live so i'll leave the link down to that in the description box below let us know what you would do different in your yurt. Seeing this yurt in person has really changed so much about what I want to do in our yurt. And so I have come up with some like epic yurt plans and I can't wait to share them with y'all. Me and Kenneth are kind of fine tuning it right now, but stick around on our channel and you may be surprised at what we do to be able to turn a yurt into a home on our homestead. Stay tuned for a garden tour update. So how fun was that? We loved getting to tour Blue Ridge Yurt's facility. We actually got to see not only the display yurt, but we got to see where they actually sew the stuff together. It was pretty cool to be able to tell Declan that his future home may be made right there in that facility. It's very small, very intimate, and we got to talk to some of the ladies who actually do the sewing process. So that was super cool and something we didn't expect to be able to do today.
looking at the yurt we can tell that it is really good quality we've also gotten personal experience from people who have bought yurts from blue ridge yurts and have lived in them and so we know that by using them it's a yurt that we can trust and a quality we can trust so if we do buy a yurt it will be from blue ridge yurts and we look forward to it in the future i hope y'all had a great day with us if you're looking to buy a yurt also make sure to check them out i will link them down in the description box below Now this is the green bell pepper here and it has multiple little ones growing all over it. Oh, none are quite big enough to pick yet. That one's getting pretty close but I'm just watching them grow and enjoying looking forward to being able to cut some up and cook them up for dinner. This one is our banana plant and I've actually picked a few of the banana peppers off already. Um, but it's got some that are growing in pretty big. Now on this purple bell pepper plant, I've actually had to pick a few of these off and throw them to the side. Um, just because they had sun swats so bad that it was actually eating through the the shell of the pepper this one looks okay um so i just moved them over into the shade next to the rv instead of being in full sun and i noticed that the ones coming in on it now they look fine and there's no holes or sunspots or anything on them forgive me with not being able to show y'all very well what i'm looking at this is a new camera i'm working with and so I haven't quite figured out how to be able to show y'all what I'm looking at while I look at it as well. I'm not quite that coordinated. And these are my little potatoes that I just threw out here. They were some leftover um, store-bought potatoes that had started sprouting and I wanted to see if I could grow them. You'll have to excuse the little ashes and rocks. Declan likes to throw stuff in my potato bed. <laughs> But they look pretty good they're coming up pretty nice i don't know if i covered them up too much in dirt or not i'm not sure where that's supposed to be so if you know let me know now the tomato plants are of course looking beautiful i've picked quite a few off of them so far and they've got some really nice ones coming in these are still pretty green there's a few that are starting to get ripe but for the most part they still got lots of green tomatoes on it Oh, there's a little orange one that's starting to get ripe. Be ready to pick here soon. And my basil plant is growing next to it. It needs a little water, but it looks pretty good. This tomato plant has quite a few yellow leaves on it that I am actually going to prune off of there. It's got one tomato ready to pick, one that's getting close, and then quite a few green ones still going. And of course it's got its own little basil plant as well. By now, 